Hello everyone, I'm Walter and we're here today for a guide. This time I'll be visiting a place in Anchor Moon where we're going to find um, some dragons um, and I will help you to get through this place showing how to get experience here in an efficient way of course. I'm sorry about my voice, it's a little bit rough. Uh, I'm a bit sick so I will be speaking a little bit strange, but anyway, I hope this doesn't interfere so much. Anyway, uh, we're gonna get the first dragon here. Uh, if you are a knight around 50, 60, this shouldn't be a problem. I'm gonna fill up my man use a skill. Um, so dealing with the first dragon, which uh, may take some turns for you, you go straight to the south, like this. So you won't deal with these uh, two dragons and you will only have to deal with one. It will save you some cash because of the potions you're not going to spend here. This is a very nice tactic. I usually do this because this dragon, as you could see, it, it respawns around this area. So it's quite simple to avoid it, unless someone has already come in this area first, so then uh, it is in the entrance, right at the ramp. Here, you check how it is. Um, depending, if you are a knight, you may stay here, consider staying here. If you're lucky, they are slow, so use your strikes uh, and trying to finish them as fast as you can because uh, you don't have much time until they come to you so you may consider using Xori or Xori Eco, whatever you want to use to kill fast Xori Min uh, if you are low level I don't recommend trying killing three dragons because it's really expensive and don't try it so just leave this place and uh, we're not gonna come back for now maybe the next time you come here you try again and see if they are at the hole so we're gonna use haste and go to the next part what I usually do this I commute from one to another killing the dragons on the spawns this place is not usually full of people hunting due to the fact that the respawn is pretty slow so nobody likes to hunt here but if you do this you kill some time killing the other spawns uh, if you are a paladin, excellent, you just come here, get one and run through the entrance they cannot pass all at the same time so you get the next and keep running and shoot arrows if you're a knight hmm, don't do this, just normal knight stuff I'm gonna use just Otura uh, the damage I take is pre pretty low of course <laughs> my level is high and I hit very hard in these things but it would be the uh, close damage to yours if you were using your strikes that would pre be pretty the same going here you'll find two dragons there's no way a knight would use exori mean to finish them quickly an exori mean costs 100 gold because you use two potions <coughs> and uh, you consider this in the loot later these dragons they don't usually pay 100 gold but you kill them fast uh, here we'll find a dragon lord I don't know if you can kill this um, it's not a good idea but here it's simple to do what you do is go straight to the south uh, use your exorimine tactic again to deal a lot of damage 
We get a one of inferno, that's good. I'm lucky. It doesn't happen when I'm hunting, only when I'm making videos. <laughs> that's <laughs> I cannot do. And don't go up this hole because there you will find uh you will find two dragon lords and you don't wanna this, do you? So what you're gonna do you should try to get only the Dragon Lord, but unfortunately not going it's not that easy. I got both of them. But if you just run all the way to this part heating and running, I think you you kill the Dragon Lord before this dragon gets to you. So you won't have uh, that much trouble. And we're gonna keep going. Uh, there is another dragon here that we're gonna kill. Um, I'm gonna use my soft boots and the life ring. Good. So we killed three dragons and then two. And upstairs here we killed four dragons and a dragon lord. And we keep going. Depending on the situation down there, you can consider hunting the dragon lord as well. But they are usually expensive. But it's up to you. Uh, and we're gonna go to the third place now. No, which is not here. Let's see. Yeah, I forgot. It's a little bit. There we will find. Uh, I'm not sure if it's seven. It used to be seven, but I think now there are eight dragons there on the normal floor. And uh, some more dragons <coughs> in the other upper and lower floor. So, what we do, we get the first dragon. Trying to stay diagonally. Sorry about my voice. It's terrible today. Uh, so, more two dragons. Try to run so that uh, they stop using fireballs on you. In that corner, corridor. <laughs> he was trying to help me. So we killed the R3. First three dragons. And uh, I have good news. The, the update is going to be tomorrow. This is nice. Um, I've just logged in and then I saw the news. And the website saying that uh, December 11th this is going to be nice um, so two dragons over here we're gonna find uh, more three I think let's count one Let's see, two. So take slow this part so that you queue and then you move to the next. You queue and move to the next. Don't do this as I just done. It will cost you a little bit more. And now. This is not easy, this part. So our hunt should be should finish here. We're not gonna kill there. We're not gonna kill down here. We're gonna visit another place just to fin to start the run again. Uh, if I check my chat, I will see when I started this. Let me see.
And I got the first dragon. 948. Let's see. Yeah, 947. Now it's 956, 90 minutes later. So all the respawn should should already be done. And we are ready to start again. If someone shows up and uh, kill your dragons, hmm, don't mind, just keep doing the same cycle. Because uh, you cannot contest three uh, dragon spawns, right? And uh, you should uh, just uh, keep doing the cycle. And uh, if you find dragons, good. If you don't, just keep doing again and again until you uh, you keep co getting your experience. I don't have uh, double XP anymore, unfortunately. It uh, has ran out two days ago, and now I'm getting the regular experience. Um, with a boost, of course. But that's it. I'm gonna run back to the start, just to show it. The faster you get there, the best it is. I'm gonna take out this. Um, okay, so then we click on the map, use a tiny roar. Hoor. Um, let's see how much time we take. I'm gonna check in the chronometer. Around, uh, I don't think it's more than one minute. It's probably less than one minute. 30 seconds. Uh, I walk pretty fast, so <laughs> I walk much faster than you would. But a normal player, level 50, wearing boots of haste, would uh, do this cycle quite fast using haste. And now I'm gonna kill again just the first and the second. I don't want to be hunting here, it's just to show how it works. So some people asked for a place to hunt as a level 70. I'm not sure if this is the ideal place, but it is an optional place. Let's do the same trick, just to show that it works. <laughs> and perhaps this time doesn't. No, it worked pretty well. So, normal. <laughs> Okay, done. The loot is not bad. I don't know how much you would have spent by now. But uh, around 1k in mana potions, perhaps. Healing and using Utura. The good thing is that l level 100 we have the Utura Gran. So you trap them this way as I've just done and use your Xori me don't don't uh, I'm gonna use just to play with them <laughs> it's pretty fast damage but uh, then every time you're dealing with two consider using Xori in Xori mean uh, and if you if you want something cheaper double Xori but I think they deal the same damage. On um, Xori mean it's 1.8 times the damage of an Xori. But the mana is around 1.8. So doesn't change anything. Uh, but some people believe it's better to use double Xori. But it costs you for two turns. So if you have time for that. You use normal heat, Xori, and then normal heat, hit, and then Xori equal, normal hit, Xori. 
that's it. And I'm gonna kill this. All this spawn is pretty, pretty slow. As you saw, I killed. There were three here. I killed them ten minutes ago, and they haven't respawned yet. But this leaves you more options. For example, now that I don't have anything to kill here, I can try the Dragon Lord down there. But first, of course. I'm gonna get the dragon here. So if your server is usually camped by botters, um, I've never seen a botter hunting these dragons. So we're gonna go for this dragon. What you can do is to get here and you just kill in the corner so that you don't get the dragon over there. I play using only one hand. I have a razor, so everything I need is in this hand. I don't I only if I want to open and loot stuff, I use the other hand. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> so I can like stay scratch my nose <coughs> so we get another dragon here I'm not sure but I think the dragon down there should already be in respond yeah I said I think right let's get this dragon mm. Um, use your best skills. I'm gonna just to kill it quickly. You should try to find a way. Uh, moment you you get the, the dragon lord alone, or you have to face it. I remember that uh, I came here in my paladin once. I was level 70. There were both dragons and the dragon lord down here. And I killed them using Exori Masan. I think I used four Masan. You may consider getting this as a knight. This is good loot. I don't use the knife because we never get something, and if we do, it doesn't worth much. Uh, let's check the dragon down here. Nope. It's pretty early here. When uh, uh, nine, ten o'clock, it's probably six in the morning in the United States. So nobody's playing at this moment. What you do is this: this is the cycle. You get money. Uh, you don't spend much. You run a bit. You don't get confined in a small cave. And the good thing is that you can always go to the depart. Every time you finish a cycle, you go to the depart. If you have something to deliver, uh, if you get, you can even get those items I've been getting. Because you you usually get, you usually have capacity to carry them. So carry, go to the depart. And you will still get a nice experience. I say nice, not amazing experience. Let's see how much. Um, I can't see. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. 150k per hour with the stamina boost, of course. But I'm about to. I'm not sure if I'm killing too fast. Um, I'm trying to simulate the same as being a level 70. I think I'm doing this. Let's check how is it here. If the situation is good, you may consider killing the Dragon Lords. 
But I wouldn't do that if I were you. Pretty slow spawn right now. <coughs> so let's try to get these ones as well. Okay. Like I'm very low and my HP is 700. I'm gonna wear the Firewalker. So that I don't take damage. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't do the same, right? But you don't take damage from this. I'm gonna go for the soft one. Mm, I forgot there are two dragon lords. The reason is that these dragon lords they respawn really, really slow, slowly. Bitch, get out of my way. They respawn really slowly. So you won't be able to hunt them often and I'm gonna heal up using only Ultura <laughs> I'm not gonna spend my potions, come on <laughs> it's expensive, oh shit, I forgot about the boots anyway too late so we get up here, get another dragon. I'm gonna make uh, another video showing how to hunt here uh, using um, killing more things. Uh, if you are level 90, you can hunt those dragon lords up there. So I'm gonna make another video showing how how you can deal with this being a level 90. Well, I can see. I think if you were uh, level 50, 50 or 60, this respawn would be pretty good. I don't think it would. Or you would run out of creatures I think you would do fine here because I'm killing too fast but that's it and then you go to the stone golems again uh, you can get pretty decent loot in the stone golems because they draw iron ore or sorry iron ore and they are worth uh, around 1k so it would certainly cover your expenses. Uh, if you don't want to spend your HP up there because you kill slowly, you may consider oh, grab these stones, they are worth a good amount. So you start, start killing them. If you see that there are more than two, use uh, your invisibility, the invisibility trick. And that's it. For our first video, I'm gonna stop recording here. And I hope this guide helped you somehow. If you were looking for a place to visit or hunt and get a decent experience for your level, you may consider coming here. There's one more thing I could show. <laughs> I'm not sure if I remember. But there are some scarab spots. Oh, we get a shiny stone. I'm gonna jump in here. Uh, there are some scarab spots that you can also dig up. You dig them up and kill the scarabs before you get back. But I'm not, it's not a big shovel. I don't remember 
exactly where we find those but it's somewhere near here near this cactus there is one near this ramp I'm not sure exactly where yeah uh, but I'm, I'm going to leave a link to the website where you find this information so you may consider digging up some scarabs like three or two they respawn very slowly as well but if you see that your spawn is not going well kill them oh, I found one <laughs> nice but that's it thanks for watching and leave a like if this guide helped you I'm gonna keep making some more to show more content for knights and paladins because I think I've already shown lots of things to do as a sorcerer thanks again bye bye